Our next guest makes a heart monitoring device that connects to your smartphone and recently re released an iOS app that's going to allow patients to monitor their heart rate and blood pressure together on the same screen. Vic Gondotra is the CEO of AliveCore, former head of social at Google, and joins us now. Good morning, Vic. Hi, John. Good morning. Good to see you. So uh, I actually have the Omron blood pressure monitor because I'm getting close to 40, and I, I worry about those things now. So it's interesting to me that you want to combine what you can do with just that with the EKG that you're delivering with Cardia. Tell me, what, what's the thinking behind giving people that information in one place? Well, you know, John, heart disease is responsible for more deaths. It's the number one killer of men and women worldwide, but it's responsible for more deaths than all forms of cancer combined. And so what we're doing is allowing you to check for those kinds of heart issues that are very serious, arrhythmias like atrial fibrillation with our, with our device. But when we talked to physicians, the second thing they wanted to know was if the patient was hypertensive or they had high blood pressure. And so it was very natural for us to bring these things together. And really, for the very first time, you can monitor your EKG, things like atrial fibrillation, and combine that with an Omron blood pressure and really bring those two measures of physiology together and then share that with your doctor. So it's pretty exciting, and we're the first iOS app to be able to do that. Vic, a lot of people who follow tech will remember you from heading social at Google, Google+, Plus, Google Photos, a lot of the, the sharing and cloud initiatives that, that customers got to interact with. What led you from there to here? Because some might not get the connection. Well, you know, the, the reality is, is I have a deep passion for technology, software, and machine learning. Uh, that combined with the fact that my father had two heart attacks really drew me into this space. Um, the ability to use technology to be able to diagnose and potentially prevent someone else from having a heart attack or to be able to get help quickly uh, was something that I couldn't resist doing. And at AliveCore, we're building technology that might be able to save you know, someone you love, your parent, uh, someone's life by being able to detect an arrhythmia early. You know, the device is less than $100, and what it can do is, is just amazing when paired with your smartphone. I just felt it was an opportunity I couldn't, I couldn't afford to pass up, and uh, I've really been having a great time at AliveCore. It is a noble cause, but it's certainly a very serious one as well, Vic. And one of the images on the website of the alert on the watch band says, this result is not a diagnosis, only a possible finding. Is there a risk that you unnecessarily spook people about something. What's the margin of error on something like this? Well, we, we are about 90, 98, 99 uh, percent uh, sensitive and specific when we give you a diagnosis. Um, and particularly when we say that you've got possible atrial fibrillation, we want to encourage the patient to go seek medical help. Atrial fibrillation can be a life-threatening condition. And so, uh, you know, we're very, very careful and most importantly, We've actually done the clinical trials, and we're FDA cleared. And I think that's a pretty uh, important distinction. Our product isn't a fitness product. It's a product that's clinical grade and been cleared by the FDA. So we stand by our product and are very, very excited about the impact that it's having on people's lives every day. Vic, and, and that brings up an interesting issue to me. When you look at Android Wear, when you look at what Apple is doing with the Apple Watch, I had trouble with both when it comes to heart monitoring. I don't know if it's a skin pigmentation <clears throat> issue or what, but it's just not accurate with me. Uh, how are you different, and what age? at what age do you think people really ought to be using products like yours? Are they mainly for older people, or do you envision a day when everybody's checking uh, their EKG on a, on a daily basis? So, John, that's a great question. You know, consumers sometimes get confused between what is a heart rate, which things like the Apple Watch or Android Wear can do, um, versus what is the EKG. Most consumers have never seen their own EKG. In fact, we're the first product cleared by the FDA. An electrocardiogram of your heart is dramatically more accurate than these watches provide you with just simple heart rate. And so we strongly encourage you to go get an EKG, not just a heart rate. In terms of what age, you know, I'm in my 40s, John, and I really care about my heart, especially given my family history. So we encourage anyone 
who's concerned about their heart, given that it's the number one killer of men and women. In fact, in this country, more women have died of heart disease since 1982 than men, five times as many as breast cancer. And so we think if you are you're concerned about your health at any age, particularly if you have any palpitations or irregular heartbeat, this is a tiny investment to make, to purchase in a live core, have it in your purse, have it in your wallet, and keep track of your heart. Well, Vic, very interesting power that this mobile and technology revolution has shifted into the hands of consumers. We'll see how people end up using it. Vic Condotra from the Live Corps, thanks for joining us on Squawk Thank you. Alley. When we come back this morning,